Hey everyone, it's Kat. So I promised when I ended the video series on Chaos Descending that if we got any big updates or any new content that I would come back and make a new video about those, describing anything that we needed to, answering questions. So as of last month, we did get some new stuff. Uh, we got a new trade skill line with the Anchorage. Um, we also got a new raid zone too for raiders. Um, so what I'm going to do with this video is we're going to look at the trade skill um, quest that we got um, and I actually did do a playthrough of the entire quest line on my Twitch channel and there's a video of it there if you want to go check that out. Um, but what I want to do is take us to the Anchorage. It's in Cobalt Scar and see what's going on with these new apprentices that we have and why I think it's really important to do not only their daily quest but to make sure that you get the new recipes that they have. So right now I'm in my guild portal room and I'm standing next to this really cool little castle and you guys may recognize it. Um, there actually is a very uh, similar um, house item that you can get from doing one of the dungeons in uh, Tears of Ishan I think it was. Um, though it scales much smaller than this guy. He's actually really tiny so it's nice that they did make this one um, uh, scalable to a larger size. Um, but if you've seen this, and this is actually something you can buy in the Anchorage um, once you get enough of the chits together, which is the the currency that you'll get from doing those quests there. Um, if you have someone that's already done that line in your in your guild and they've put it in your guild hall it's a transport item so not only is it cool looking house item but if you right click it it gives you the option here to touch the castle and you may have to at least get through the very first part of the trade skill line um, to do this I'm not sure yet but this basically puts you just outside of the anchorage when you touch the castle so I'm going to do that and it's going to transport me to Cobalt Scar kind of right outside where I need to be. Um, and if you're just starting the quest line, like I said, you might have to do the access quest first. Um, and you'll have to kind of run a little bit back around to talk to the NPC to, to start. But if you've already done it, this very handily puts you in Cobalt Scar right in front of the anchorage. So that's the door. And um, if you're not familiar with the area, uh, the, the nearby camp here is Salt Breeze. And you'll see it right there on the map. And you can actually get there from the Griffon. Um, the Griffon on the dock in uh, Great Divide will take you right to that spot. Or you can use a travel belt and it puts you up here at the at the castle, at the at the fort, Scarstone. But the little tiny castle is the most convenient way to get here. So I'll get here, I'll click on the bars, and it's gonna offer me either the trade skill area or the rate. But I'm going to go to trade skill. And once I zone in, there's a great big cavern and there's harvestable nodes in the area. Now those nodes actually are fuel that you need to, to do any of the combines from your daily quest givers here. So you can do a little farming here, pick them up. I like to do a little bit every time I come in. Like I have a pretty good stash going. I think I have like a couple hundred, um, but you know, Rather than wait till I'm out and try to get a big hole, another pile again, I'll do a couple as I go. But if you look on the map, it's this big cavern. There's a few caves here and there, and they'll have more of those nodes if you need to harvest those. But I want to come down here. Now, you're going to have these four different apprentices that you meet as you do the trade skill line to get them in here. And every day they're going to give you a daily quest. Um, and I was wondering if I could help her speed up the process, so I'll click on that and she will give me her daily quest and it will award me not only those chits with service currency but it'll give me a random reward so I'll accept her quest so thank you and basically she wants me to go to one of the CD zones and I'm gonna have to do some harvest and then we're gonna have to make something for her um, and it's a, a recipe that auto scribes um, and then as soon as you're done making it it disappears from your from your recipe book um, and all the, her, the recipes that these guys give you, they all need workstations. They all need that fuel that I was harvesting up by the door. So you'll see that she is doing research on various recipes. Right now she's working on the Elysian Rains recipe. So yes, we actually can get the recipes for uh, the mounts 
right? Like up until this point in the X pack, it's been really hard to get the recipes. We've been getting tons and tons of patterns, but not a lot of the, the recipes, especially not a lot of the good ones, like the Elysian ones. Um, and she, this, um, this update also introduced a, a better recipe with the mischievous reins and the mischievous um, saddles. Now, and they actually will drop the recipes for those fairly often um, on their daily quest. So it's going to take her three more days and five more hours to finish researching that recipe. Now, if enough of us come in and do her dailies, that'll speed up a tiny bit. And we can see what recipe she's going to have in the future for us with mischievous nails and so on and so forth down the list. Like eventually, we'll get down to the end here and you can see she's already completed several recipes thus far. So, once she has completed those recipes, where do you get them? Well, I'm going to come over here to her assistant. So, these are the completed recipes. And you can buy them for those chits. So, another good reason to do the daily not only is the the random prize that you'll get from her, um, but also so you can build up the stash of chits so that you can then buy her recipes as well. So, and it also some really cool recipes, not only the mount gear, but also a lot of the potions. And I did talk about this in a previous video. If you guys remember, we talked about the Elysian Elixir of the Thorns and how awesome that was. But the big downfall to that was that you needed raid coins to buy it, or you just had to get really lucky from a drop. Well, now you can get this recipe for the mischievous version, which is actually a tiny, tiny bit better than the Elysian one. Um, and all you need to be able to do is trade skill. So I think that's a great improvement. Right? So, and in addition to that one there, we've got another quest giver over here that'll give me the same things. And again, she's researching recipes as well. And again, she's got more of the Elysian barding recipes and things further down. And we've got another researcher over here. So four apprentices in total in this area. Okay, and they all have these little feathers. So I'll give you the daily quest. Um, and this gentleman right here, Wilhelm, he was the one that did the initial crafting line for you to get you started and finish up. He too has a specialty merchant that you can buy stuff from. And this is where you get that mischievous castle as well as some house items too. Okay, so this is a fun, it's a quick quest line. I think it takes maybe two hours at the most and about 40 minutes of that is where you actually have to like wait and come back. So it's super, super short, but you can get a lot of really awesome recipes and I do recommend that you guys do it. All right, thank you guys. Thanks for watching.